What it do, y'all? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you at. Big shout out to you. It's an easier way to make your turkey for this Thanksgiving that isn't so labor intensive. Uh, sometimes, a lot of the times, people that have to do Thanksgiving cooking usually don't be in the kitchen. So it can be a little intimidating and I get that. But this right here is an easy recipe to make a delicious, fall off the bone, juicy turkey that is guaranteed to please everybody at your table, no matter if you've made it before or not. Guarantee you, you're gonna be able to love this. What's up, Pearl? Good to see you again in the building. If you're tuned in, let me know where you're tuned in from. Put your state, your city, your country. Shout out to all my international people out here too as well. Uh, much love to you guys here on this uh, beautiful day. I hope you're doing well. I hope you guys are staying warm, staying safe. But look, it's enough, enough talk about weather and places and spaces. We're going to talk about this turkey, okay? Shout out to Indianapolis, Naptown. I see you. Put your city, put your state in the comments. If, you, if you're trying to reply, if you're trying to comment, I'm in follower only mode right now. So uh, you'll see your comment, but if you're not following, you have to follow so I can see your comment. So make sure you hit that follow button. And also we have 37 likes, double tap that screen. Let's try to get the 50 likes here before I throw this turkey in the oven. I see you ATL, shout out to Atlanta, Gronish. Shout out to Maryland up in here, Connecticut, DC, Pennsylvania. I see you guys up north. Florida, I see you. I see you guys. I'm out here in Houston, Texas. Anybody from Texas? Shout out to y'all, all right? So listen, if you're just not tuned in, my name is Uncle Dibs, your favorite uncle you never met. And I'm about to make a turkey in a bag, okay? Turkey in a bag. Now, I know what you're thinking. Like, how can that be? How can you do that? Is it going to taste like plastic? No, I'm going to show you all the steps on how to make this turkey. Super delicious. Fall off the bone and absolutely busting, all right? So, you know what I, like, what I like to do is go over the ingredients list first, because I'm gonna do this from A to Z. So go ahead and sit back, grab you some coffee, grab you something to, to, to eat, sip on, snack on, and we're gonna go over this. If you wanna know the ingredients list, if you're ready, put some fire emojis in the comments right now. Put, your, put some fire emojis in the comments right now, and I'll go over this whole entire ingredients list. Can you use the brine for the turkey without water? Sure you can, you can do a dry brine. You can do a dry brine as well. I'll talk about that here in a minute, all right? All right, y'all. And we had over a thousand likes. Everybody double tap on the screen, much love. Okay, so look, I have a big boy turkey right here, all right? This is a big, bigger than what I like. This is about a 20 pound turkey. I recommend going for more of that 14, 15 pound range, no more than 16 pounds, just so you get even cooking. But this will do, just make sure um, you get a turkey that is all natural. Do not get a pre-brined turkey or any turkey with additives. Try to find a young turkey if you can. Also, anything that's not natural to the turkey, like uh, the little push pin thing, that little plastic push pin, take that out. Any plastic that may be in there, take that out. We're also gonna take that, that neck out. Do not throw this out. You can use this for stock, so set it to the side. But you're gonna wanna definitely take that bag of giblets. Go ahead and remove that. Make sure, make sure you remove that. You do not want to be serving this turkey and then somebody take a big slice of it and the next thing you know, they got that those plastic giblets in the bag. You don't want that, all right? So our turkey is ready to go here. What I like to do is tuck these wings. Just make sure y'all can see that. Tuck these wings underneath the bird. Just as such, all you're gonna do is grab the wing tip. Kind of go like that. Just like if you're gonna put, if you were under arrest, you're gonna place the bird under arrest, all right? So that's what you're doing. It's under turkey arrest, all right? We'll see, we'll see with that farm court, okay? Next thing you do is make sure your bird is also thawed out. Thawed out, and then also you do not wanna take this straight from the fridge and start to cook it. So let it sit out on the counter, dry it off. I like to put some paper towels, some people like to put cheesecloth on it. It's totally fine. You just want to make sure your bird is dry, okay? Next thing you know, we're going to go ahead and put a nice bath of herb butter on this turkey, okay? So this is some room temperature butter. I'm going to do is put this in my microwave for like a couple of seconds. We're going to melt that butter and then we're going to add 
Actually, you know what? I'm going to let y'all choose. I'm going to let y'all choose, all right? I can go with my Dirty Bird Rub. I can go with my Delta Dust for a little bit of that uh, Cajun Flare. Or I can go with my All Purpose Straight Drop Rub, all right? Which one do you guys want me to use for this turkey? Dirty Bird Rub, which is going to level this turkey all the way through infinity. If you want a little bit of that Cajun Flare, not too spicy, that Delta Dust. Or I can go with that all-purpose straight drop rub. So let's do this. Put one for straight drop, put two for dirty bird, and put three for delta dust. One, two, three. And, and you have to be following the comment or else I won't see your comment. I'm in follower only mode. So one, two, or three. I'm seeing a lot of twos, y'all. I'm seeing some threes. All right, it's between two and three. Two and three. Two or three. You know what? I'm going to do both. I'm going to do Dirty Bird Rub and Delta Dust because you know why? We can do that, all right? We can definitely do that, okay? I got my butter over here. Melted just as such, okay? Now all you're going to do, let me grab me a little... A little fork over here. And also, this is another thing too. When you're handling raw meat like this and everything, instead of having to run back to the sink to wash your hands and then come back and wash it, like you, you, you're gonna have a heart attack doing that. Get yourself a rag that is soaked with bleach, um, soap, and just have that on hand, okay? And you can just hit your hands with that real quick and then have a dry towel right here to the side. So you guys are gonna see, I'm constantly going to these towels, that's why I'm doing that. Just, just to stay clean, okay? So here we go. We got our melted butter right there. I'm gonna hit it with that Dirty Bird Rub. This is 13 herbs and spices, all in one bottle. This is not spicy, but it is bussing, okay? You can use this for fried chicken, turkey wings, whatever you want. It's available at Uncle Dibs. Dot com. The link is in my bio. And then now, that Delta Dust. This is like what I like to call Papa Do's in a bottle. It has a little bit of kick of cayenne. It's not too spicy, but it's definitely there. It lets you know it's there. All right? All natural. These are not heavy sodium seasonings. Okay, there is salt in them, but I also have low sodium seasonings. But this right here, I can already smell it. You just want to mix that all together just like this, okay? Mix that on up. And you guys can see that color change right there. It almost kind of looks like that butter that you get at the crab places. Y'all know those crab places, they bring you that, that big thing of butter that you dip the crab in. That's what this looks like, but this is for turkey instead, all right? So just mix that up. And then here's a little tip, y'all. You're gonna wanna uh, baste or, or butter rub this uh, turkey from the backside first, okay? Anybody know what we do the backside first? We do the backside, I'm gonna flip this turkey for y'all. We do the backside because the top side is the presentation side. So the presentation side is gonna get all the love. That's what's gonna get everyone pulling out their phones. That's what people are gonna see first and foremost. So you gotta get that backside some love, all right? So what I like to do, make sure that's nice and mixed up together. I'm put a little bit more Dirty Bird up there. And if you're just not tuning in, I'm doing my turkey in a bag recipe. This full recipe is available on my site, UncleDips.com. But we're just getting started, so just tune in, relax, and watch. I hope y'all having a beautiful day. And then just going to slowly, slowly add some of that butter to that body right there. And while I'm doing this, I want, I want y'all to let me know what your Thanksgiving plans are. Are you staying in town for Thanksgiving? Are you hitting that road? Are you doing the cooking or are you doing the eating? Let me know. And do this all on a sheet pan. Do not do this on your cutting board because you're gonna make even a bigger mess, all right? I'm all about less stress in the kitchen. So I'm all about the hacks. I'm all about the, I'm all about the, uh, that's right, grownish. That is the money side. That's where you get paid at, all right? 
So I'm just trying to make your Thanksgiving and your holidays a little less stressful. Staying in town alone for the holidays. Oh, Deborah. Well, you can, you can tune in right here with me. I'm going to be on live during the holidays. Staying, doing turkey wings. I ain't mad at turkey wings. Turkey wings are a great alternative to doing a whole turkey. All right, so we got our backside done. Now we're going to give it a flip. Remember that song? Flip, flip, flip. Game over. Give it a flip, and then now save the rest of that butter for that top side. You want to get all over those breasts, just like that. All over them legs. Act like this is going out to the pool or, you know, at the beach. Think about that, all right, when you're doing this, okay? You want to hit all of that lotion, which is this butter, this beautiful herb butter, everywhere that that sun, a.k.a. that heat from that oven, is going to hit it. You can even throw some in that cavity, too. And I'm going to show you what, I'm, what I like to do with the cavity as well. I got some special things I like to put on that cavity. Make sure you get those legs and them thighs, the other side of them wings. Do not skimp on this. This is a big bird, so you're not going to over-season it or do anything to it, all right? So that butter glaze is on there. And then we left, we left with all those herbs at the, at the uh, bottom of the bowl from that dirty bird rub. You want to just take that out, smush that all around, just like that. If this is looking sexy, put a number five in the comments right now, y'all. This right now, it's too early. It's too early to be doing this on TikTok, y'all. It's way too early to be doing this on TikTok. I might get banned doing this, all right? And you don't need to go to Popeye's for this neither. You can make this in your own house. Trust me, Shawty, all right? Looking and smelling amazing. It's not even cooked yet, all right? So this is what we're looking like right now, y'all. I'm going to bring this over here to y'all so y'all can see. Boom. Every edge of that turkey is covered in that butter mixture, like I said. That is just Dirty Bird Rub and Delta Dust mixed together. And guess what, y'all? Before I go any further, I'm going to do something just for y'all because y'all got me at over 6,000 likes on a Saturday afternoon. I have to show love. I'm going to give y'all those seasonings and any of my other seasonings. I'm going to give y'all free shipping during this live, all right? But I'm the worst at coming up with codes, so I need y'all to come up with a code for me for free shipping. What is the free shipping code I should use? Let me know in the comments. I'm on follower-only mode right now, so if you want to leave a comment so I can see it, you have to hit that follow button. Turkey, I already did turkey before. Veter oh yeah, hey, before we go any further, happy Veterans Day to all service members, men and women. Much love and thank you for your service. Thank y'all. Free ship 20. Let's do big bird. I like that, because this is a big bird. And if you, if you have served, if you have served, put an American flag in the comments, because I just want to salute to y'all, all right? For all my servicemen and women, put an American flag in the comments so I can see y'all. Because I want to I wanna give a salute to y'all too as well. Janae, salute to you. Warner, salute to you. I used to care. Salute to you. Thank you for your service. The Gray Area Podcast, salute to you. Jay, salute to you. Be safe out there. RB, salute to you. Accessorize with style, salute to you. Thank y'all for your service. Thank you, Janae. Thank you for your service, y'all. Y'all show them love, too, as well. All right, y'all. So what was that code? Big Bird. All right, Big Bird. Big Bird. I'm putting it in right now, y'all. I'm trying to do 20 things at once. Be, be patient with your aunt, y'all. Be patient with your aunt. All right, y'all. The discount code is Big Bird, all caps, one word, B-I-G, B-I-R-D. Screwed over, let's say, $9. And that's going to be set live in five, four, three, two, and one. So that code is right there. It's Big Bird. Big Bird is the code. Free shipping during the duration of this live, all right? Use that code for free shipping. Matter of fact, Gronish, I appreciate that. I'm about to pin that. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. So I got the turkey right here, all right? The turkey is ready, all right? Oven is set at 350. 
350 for the oven, okay? Let me go ahead and strap up. You know you got to stay protected out here, y'all. Got to strap up. Happy Veterans Day to everybody, too. I appreciate all y'all servicemen and women tuning in. Much love to y'all. Every time I get an order overseas to Germany or Guam or wherever, I, I always put a little extra love in that, those orders because I come from a military family, so I much, much, much love to y'all, all right? So right now, we're going to set this turkey to the side, all right? And now we're going to get the bag. So I'm going to put that turkey back here. So listen, do not grab those bags that are underneath your uh, kitchen sink. This is, not, this is not what that is, okay? This is the brand that I use, all right? This is not an endorsement. This is not a commercial, nothing like that. But these are the best, right? Here. Reynolds Kitchen Oven Bags, okay? Has anybody done this before? Because if you know, what, if, if you know about this, I'm going to show you some tricks. I'm going to show you some tricks, all right? You got those, Felicia? Okay. Yo, we have over 12,000 likes. Everybody double tapping that screen. Appreciate the love so much. Much love to y'all. We're making our turkey in a bag. Easiest turkey you can make for Thanksgiving. Easiest turkey you can make. This is, this is so easy. You, you're pretty much, the prep is the, the, the hardest part. The cook is the easiest part, all right? So I got my bag right here. Big bag, right? What you want to do is get you a roasting pan. Take that pan down, put it down, and then put your bag inside of that pan. And then this is the little trick I like to do, okay? I like to put like two tablespoons of flour in that bag because that's gonna create a nice gravy from the juices and drippings from that turkey, all right? Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour is all you need. The site is UncleDibs.com. UncleDibs.com, all right? The link is in my bio. It's UncleDibs.com. Just hit my name up top here. It'll take you right there, all right? I'll give you guys more instructions once I get this turkey in. Close your bag and shake it up, all right? You want that flour to coat that bag, okay? All right, good. Next. We need our veggies, okay? I've already pre-chopped these veggies. Just give them a rough chop. Onion. Where my onion lovers at? I got some gum for y'all. I'm just kidding. Onion, right there. Put that in there. Carrots. Carrots. Put that in there. Next, celery. This is basically called a maripois, all right? But listen, this ain't no fancy cooking show, all right? This is Unk's cooking show, all right? You want that fancy stuff, go out there to France. If you want that real, come to Unc's house, all right? You remember how Unc used to let you watch stuff you weren't able to watch at your mama's house? A little HBO after dark, little Richard Pryor and stuff like that. I'm Unc, y'all. I'm Unc. Take that boozy stuff, put it away, all right? We acted real, we're, uh, we acted real, we acted real country over here, all right? Shake that up too. This is gonna be your bed for your turkey, okay? This is your bed for your turkey. So we're gonna set this all to the side right now. One thing I forgot. We're gonna put some aromatics inside of our turkey, all right? Inside of this cavity. This is the cavity. See that big hole right there? That's the cavity, all right? We're gonna put some lemon in there, okay? We're gonna add a little lemon. All you gotta do is, is cut it in half as such and drop that right up in there, okay? This is gonna add just a nice herby, fresh flavor to your bird because we got all that butter on there, we got the seasonings on there. You're gonna want something to balance it out. So I do lemon, I also do some garlic. Now I like to just take a whole head of garlic Cut it in half just like this and put it in there. Don't worry. That little paper on the garlic, that skin, is going to dissolve. You're not even going to see it, so don't even worry about it. Next, I like to put a little apple in there, a little green apple. I like green apples the best. If you like green apples more than red apples, put one. If you like red apples more than green apples, put two. I like green, though. I like green. So we're putting that in there. That's going to give a nice little citrus, not citrus, but uh, fruit taste to it, all right? It's the holidays, y'all. It's the holidays. So you can put red apple in there, too. 
I'm using uh, red onions, you can use, or purple onions, you can use white onions, you can use sweet, whatever you want to do. Just stuff that thing up in there, all right? Next, we can't forget our aromatics. Sage, rosemary, and thyme. Somebody said they put an orange in there. That's perfect. You can put orange in there too as well. But these herbs are essential. Sage, rosemary, and thyme. Take that. Stuff that right up there in that bird, y'all. If I'm going too fast for you, don't worry. There's full recipes on my site, UncleDibs.com, with a video as well, all right? You want that thing nice and stuffed. Nice and stuffed. Next, get you some butcher's twine. I'm going to wipe my hands off. Man, this is smelling so good. Once that lemon and that apple came in there with that garlic, it's not even cooked yet, y'all. It's not even cooked. It's not even cooked. Imagine what it's going to taste like when it's cooked. All right, get you some butcher's twine. All right. Cut you off a little bit of that right there. And then we're just going to tie them legs together because our turkey is classy, not trashy. Anybody from the DMV remember that go-go song? I'm classy, not trashy. Who sang that song? Was that Rare Essence? Who was that? Tie them legs together. There's really no scientific way to do this because all legs are different. Just want to get them on top of each other. Wrap them around like how we do our steers out here in Texas. Just make sure they're staying together like that. Just want to make sure everything's evenly cooked as best as possible. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a little bit more of some of the reserve of this uh, garlic butter. I'm going to hit some spots that I see I missed. So we're good to go. So we're going to have a nice even color. This is an amazing way to get an even color just by doing a butter base just like this. Absolutely amazing. Shout out to Wiley, Texas. I see you. Put your BYB. Exactly. BYB. Shout out to my go-go heads. I ain't been to a go-go since before the pandemic, y'all. I went to, I think it was like Lucky Strike in D.C. 2019. Crazy night. All right. So now I need to make some room, y'all. I need to make some room. I'm coming through. All right. When I get famous, I'm going to have somebody to do all this stuff for me. But right now, we thugging it. All right. We'll move this out the way. I'm going to move this turkey up front. I'm the type of person I have to announce what I'm doing so that I know what I'm doing. You guys understand? I got to say, hey, I'm about to do this. Then I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to do this. I'm that type of person. All right. All right, y'all. So back to the bag. That's what we're here for. We got our bag right here. Flour, once again, I put two tablespoons of flour, onion, celery, and carrots right up in there. Now all we gotta do is make enough room and fit this bird in this bag. So we're gonna grab that bird. Breast side up is how we're going. I like to go in first with the, with the, 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 the top side or, or the head, I guess you could say and then just kind of work my way up in there, just as sucks, all right? Lift up that bottom, bring that bag around. And then just pull it up. That's it, y'all. Make sure that it's staying flat. You don't want the turkey to have a gangster lean. You kind of want it to be sitting nice and, nice and right. Take it just as such. Try to get as much air out as possible. And then we're gonna tie this bag together, get all that air out. So the, the, the bag box comes with like a little zip tie. So all you gotta do is get that out the box. Let me see if I can find it. Where is it at? There it go. Once again, this is what I'm using. And it comes with a zip tie just as such okay just like that if you don't have that you can just use the twine that you use to, to, to tie up the legs all right so next you want to take that zip tie put it over the top of that bag and then you're just going to lock it in all right i need to take my glove off because this is this is too slippery for me right now let me see if i can get it there we go no i gotta take that glove off y'all too slippery for unk. All right. Precision, precision. All right, there we go. And then all you got to do is pull it tight, just like that. 
Make sure it's nice and tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Boom. And that's all you got. Turkey in a bag. Turkey in a bag, y'all. And I guarantee this will be the most juicy, fall off the bone, busting turkey you ever made in your life. Now, y'all like, all right, that's cool, but what do we cook it at? What do we do now? So listen, 350 in the oven, all right? You're gonna cook this between three and four hours to get the exact time that you need to cook it for. It's about 15 minutes per pound. So you're gonna need to grab your calculator, all right? Do 15 times the weight of the turkey, and then that's the time, all right? So this right here, I'm gonna keep this bird in here for about three to and a half to four hours. I'm gonna start checking it at four hours. But before we start to do that, the very important part that I almost missed, you have to cut some holes in the bag or else this, this big bag is just gonna burst. You gotta let that steam rotate around that bag. You're gonna cut six holes at both breasts, so right there, right there, at the leg, the thigh, on both sides. So six holes all around, and when you wanna check the temperature of the bird, all you gotta do is find one of those holes that you cut, and stick your, your, your meat thermometer in there to check the temperature, so you don't gotta poke a whole, whole, new, a whole new hole, all right? So I did both breasts at the front, I'm doing the leg right there, I'm doing the thigh down here, the leg up here, thigh down here. Six holes throughout the bag, just so that steam can rotate through that bag. And I'm telling you guys, if you wanna see the finished product, my last video I just posted, I just posted it yesterday. You can go to my page and you can find the final product, the final result of this. And I'm telling you, the best turkey that you can make the easiest way, all right? Y'all say goodbye. Y'all wave, y'all wave bye to the turkey, all right? Y'all wave bye to the turkey, y'all. This is going in the oven, 350, all right? Three and a half hours, we're gonna start checking it out. Four hours tops. So listen, I'm gonna throw this in the oven now. Let that rock in the oven. When it's done, do not rip that bag open right away. Do not do that. Let that bag rest for at least 30 minutes. Then just use your scissors, cut, cut that bag off, cut that bag open, peel it open, and then transfer that, transfer that turkey to whatever platter you want, and it's gonna be great, all right? So, listen, before I go, I need everybody to know that code for free shipping for those seasonings I use, the Dirty Bird Rub and the Delta Dust. Use that code Big Bird for free shipping. And I'm telling you, I'll take care of the shipping today, but only during this live. I'm gonna shout out some people that have been ordering because y'all showing so much love on this live. We had over 25,000 likes. I appreciate the love, y'all. I appreciate the love. That's why I'm about to give the love back. If you ordered or if you're ordering now, I'm about to shout you out right now, all right? I wanna give a big shout out to Linda out in California. She got that Dirty Bird Rub and that All Purpose Straight Drop Rub. Big shout out to you, Linda. Thank you so much, Linda. You're gonna be cooking some good, good, good food on Thanksgiving. Also, stay out in the West Coast. Shout out to Liz out there in Utah. She's got that Dirty Bird, all natural, 13 herbs and spices to make that turkey shine. It's on the way. I wanna give a shout out to Monica out here, right here in Texas. The Delta Dust, you got a two pack of that. The, 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 the website is easy. It's easy peasy, y'all. UncleDibs.com, just hit my name at the top. It'll take you to my TikTok page, hit that link that's associated with it, and then go ahead and buy, get whatever you want. But make sure you put that free shipping code, Big Bird, to get free shipping, all right? I'm gonna give a shout out to Tim, also out here in Texas. He got a three pack of that Dirty Bird Rub. Yeah, grown you, you got you got you got more than enough. You're good, but hey, you can always give them as gifts. Holiday season is coming up. White elephant. It's always nice to give the gift of flavor. I want to also West man West Coast shout out to the West Coast showing love. Amore out there in California. 
Delta Dust, all right? So if you're ordering right now, I'm going to shout you out right now. Just use that code BIGBIRD at UncleDibs.com for free shipping on all, whatever you want to get. I'll take care of the shipping. The shipping is on me. I know it's the holidays. A lot, a lot to do, a lot to do. So with that being said, I'll take care of the shipping. Also, another thing too, my limited edition, Brian. Somebody asked, had a question about Brian earlier. I forgot what, uh, what their name was. They asked if you can do a dry brine with my top of the line brine. You definitely can. Just apply this on your turkey, let it sit in your uh, fridge overnight, and that moisture will be absorbed by these herbs and spices right here. Eight, my, my, I call them my top eight. My top eight herbs and spices from this delicious brine. But if you want to do it old school, you just take one bag of this brine, get you a, a food safe container, gallon of water, the whole bag of brine, and dump your bird in there and let that sit for 12 to 24 hours and you're gonna have a juicy, juicy, moist bird. I'm trying to tell y'all, no, no dry turkeys over here, y'all. None at all, all right? So does anybody have any questions about this recipe? And if you missed the recipe, I'm gonna show it to you right now. The full recipe is right here on my site. The full recipe is right here on my site, okay? Roasted turkey in a bag, roasted turkey in a bag. Just click that, look at this. I got a whole video for it, ready to go. Yep, that's me. And all the instructions, ingredients, and everything too. All that is at UncleDibs.com. So, we had a conversation the other day about dressing. What do y'all call it? Do y'all call it stuffing or do you call it dressing? Put a one if you call it stuffing, put a two if you call it dressing, because we had a little debate in here. One for stuffing, two, two for dressing. One, what did I say? One for dressing, two for stuffing? See, we're like 50-50 right now, man. Everyone calls it two different things. So where I'm from, when I think of dressing, the first thing I think of is dressing. You know what I mean? I don't really think of stuffing. I think of stuffing when I think of stuffing. You know what I mean? But if, it, if it's past October, they could be interchangeable. I'll allow it. So what kind of stuffing, because I asked the other night, what kind of stuffing recipes do you want from me? Do you guys want, some people like oysters in their, in their stuffing or dressing. Some people like shrimp. What, what, what dressing or, or stuffing recipe are you looking for? Some classic chicken, cornbread stuffing. No, nothing added to it, just straight cornbread with, with the giblets, okay. I see you, Valerie. Oyster. Oyster. I already know growing this. You want that oyster up there in Maryland. Traditional. Sausage. Old-fashioned. I got a lot of stuff in to make, y'all. So, for my Thanksgiving, uh, I got asked to, because I'm, I'm actually going somewhere for Thanksgiving, and they know I cook, but, you know, when you're visiting someone's house, you're not about to be like, hey, I'm about to bring a turkey over. You know, they're going to do that their, their own self. But I got asked to bring, uh, I think they said dressing, but I'm gonna bring stuffing, all right? And I think they asked for crawfish, crawfish stuffing. So, or it might've been shrimp, I'm trying to remember. It might've been shrimp and crawfish. I might just do both since it's the holidays, all right? I said, it's not even crawfish season. They said, we can, you can use frozen. I was like, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, all right, we'll see. It's good. I love oyster stuff and stovetop dressing. Okay. All right. I'll definitely come out with some uh, a video for that because that's been like the number one. People are requesting uh, dressing and stuffing way more than they're requesting turkey. You know what I mean? Like it, it's that's like the main event. I haven't even had any requests for mac and cheese. Nobody need no mac and cheese recipes. I thought mac and cheese was a star or or the co star at least. Listen, there's a lot of people on the site right now. We're going to let that code rock for about 15 more minutes for that free shipping. Use that code Big Bird to get free shipping. I want to give a shout out to Mike. Let's see where Mike's from. Out here. Man, Texas showing love. Mike out in Texas got that top of the line brine coming down the pipeline to make that juicy turkey. Big shout out to Mike. I want to give a shout out to Dwayne also out in Texas. He got that top of the line brine. Big shout out to my Texas people out here. Listen, I've only lived in Texas for about three years now, but they've been showing me love. 
since day one. I moved out here from Miami uh, back in 2021. And ever since I touched down, people have been showing love. So much love to all y'all out here in Texas, especially out here in Houston. Goose, goose get you loose. We're talking about great goose or, or a goose uh, for dinner. I want to give a shout out to Edward out there in Virginia. Shout out to VA. VA know about that flavor. The DMV know about that flavor. Dirty Bird Rub, three pack is on the way. Big shout out to you, Edward. Thank you so much. Leon out in Florida, three pack, straight drop rub, a top of the line brine, and a variety pack, which is my Dirty Bird Rub, my straight drop rub, and my very first seasoning, my very first seasoning ever that I ever came out with, that I ever made, if I can find it. My lemon pepper hot. I'm from Atlanta, raised in Atlanta, and in Atlanta, we like something called lemon pepper, especially when it's hot. So that three pack is coming to you, Leon. Thank you so much for the love, y'all. Once again, that code is Big Bird for free shipping right now off your order. Just use that code, Big Bird, B I G B I R D, one word all together. You're good. Glonia, she said we had 30K. Oh, man. We had 30K. Everybody double tapping that screen. Your aunt loves it. Listen, I just, I just be cooking, y'all. You know what I mean? There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world. I'm just like, listen, I'm just up here making some food, making sure y'all getting out of that drive through line and getting back in the kitchen because we are losing recipes, y'all. And speaking of losing recipes, I'm going to tell y'all something right now. Right now. Who's ready for Uncle Dibs cookbook? Put four in the comments right now. If you're ready for Uncle Dibs cookbook, put four in the comments right now. Let me see some foes up, man. Let me see some foes up, y'all. Who ready for that Uncle Dibs cookbook? Put a four in the comments, y'all. All right, y'all. So listen, I had a really important meeting yesterday, Friday, with a publishing company, and I have another important meeting next week, all right? We are this close. Can y'all see that? Not this close, but this close to getting the Uncle Dev's cookbook out in them streets and in your kitchen, all right? So listen, I am very excited about this process. I'm gonna share the highs, the lows, the behind the scenes, everything about this cookbook. I'm gonna share it with y'all, man. So listen, this is something that's been in the works for like almost three or four years now, since, I, since before I probably even started the seasonings. So I must say, y'all, y'all been here since the very beginning. Big shout out to all y'all, Grownish, Jilly, everybody that's uh, been showing love on the lives, on the comment section, everything like that. So I'm very excited. Listen, your boy's about to be an author, y'all. Can y'all believe that? Prayer, put, put them prayers up for your boy, man. It ain't happened yet, so I ain't, I ain't ready to, to, to celebrate quite yet. But listen, we, we, we damn sure almost there. I'm on another order coming in. Big shout out to the Gray Area Podcast up there in Illinois. Big boy order. Got that Delta Dust. I like to call this Papa Do's in a bottle. Delta Dust. Do they got Papa Do's in Illinois? I don't know if it's up there. But he got that, he got that flavor coming in. Delta Dust. Also, he got that. One of my favorites. Because you can see how low I am on it right there. Running low, running low. That King Creole blend, no salt, all flavor. My favorite Creole seasoning. I'm actually gonna make some red beans and rice probably tomorrow with this. Red beans and rice, it's that red beans and rice weather, it's that chili weather. Red beans and rice, if you like that, Alfredo pasta. King Creole blend is where it's at. And then again, he got that three pack of seasonings. These are my three best sellers right here. Dirty Bird Rub, Straight Drop Rub, and a Lemon Lemon Pepper Hot. Big shout out to the Great Area Podcast. I'm going to check that podcast out. If you're in here, let me know. Uh, I'd love to collaborate with you and get you to my fans on the podcast as a sponsor. Shoot me a DM, uh, the Great Area. I appreciate that. You can order them from UncleDibs.com. Just hit my name up top. It'll take you to my TikTok page. And then all you got to do is hit that link. It'll take you right to my site. And you'll be good, all right? I'm new here. I just saw your videos on the turkey. Definitely going to follow. Thank you, Susie. I appreciate that love, Susie. And everybody double tapping that screen. That's what happens, man. Every time you double tap that screen, it just sends more people in here because we get on the FYPs. So everybody showing love. That's all it's all about. Spreading this good energy. 
just good food and these good all natural chemical free seasonings all right more orders coming in i want to give a shout out to tracy up there in new jersey a lot of people don't know this a lot of people don't know this i come from a military family i was born in new jersey okay so i know about that yeah means you know little 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 provolone turkey and all that capicola i was actually born in jersey so tracy I'm not gonna put your put your city in there, but I wasn't I wasn't too far from there. She got a three pack of my variety bundle: Dirty Bird Rub, Atlanta Lemon Pepper Hot, and Straight Drop Rub. Perfect if you don't know what, where to start. If you're kind of intimidated by cooking, that's the perfect place to start because you get three different distinct flavors all in one. All right. Thank you, Tracy. Let me see who else got something. Big shout out to Derek. Derek up there in New York. Shout out to the Northeast tapping in right now. We were just in New Jersey. Now we're in New York. He got that Dirty Bird rub with that free shipping code Big Bird, B-I-G-B-I-R-D, for the free shipping. That code, I was going to kill it in a, in a, real soon, but I'm going to keep that code going since we got the 34,000 likes. I'm going to keep it going for 34 minutes, all right? So if you want that, but listen, some of this stuff is selling out. Like this brine. I only got a few more bags of this brine left, y'all. So don't wait. Go ahead and get it right now if you want to get it, all right? Spending Turkey Day in New Jersey. Hey, you should link with uh, Tracy. She's going to have some of my seasonings, and I know you're going to bring some seasonings too. So shout out to y'all. Anybody traveling? Who's traveling during Thanksgiving? Let me know in the comments. Let me know where you're traveling to. Who's traveling during Thanksgiving? Let me know. <sighs> How to have a little coffee break, y'all. Had to have a little coffee break, y'all. Who's going somewhere for Thanksgiving? Who's hitting that road or who's, who's going on those planes? G going to Chicago, make sure you bundle up. Make sure you bundle up. I always have, Chicago get a bad rap, but I've never had a bad time in Chicago. Chicago is one of my favorite food cities too as well. Love eating food in Chicago. Going to Sacramento. Be safe up there in Sacramento, okay? I've been there before. I've been there before. If you don't, if you don't know my story, so prior to my seasoning business and getting in front of this camera and showing you guys good food, I was actually in the music industry. I was DJing. So I went to probably every major city and state in the country. There's not a, a major city I've never been to. The only city I don't think I've ever been to, major city, and I mean like they have a football team or a basketball team or something like that, is Cincinnati. I tried to think about it the other day. I haven't been to Cincinnati. Pretty Virgo, what it do? Yeah, so I've been everywhere. I'm everywhere, man. Taste of blessings, what it do? Where you going for Thanksgiving, Taste? Are you cooking? Let me know what you're cooking, man. I know you do, I know you do the eating. You do the reviews. Let me know what you're cooking. Another order just came in. I want to give a shout out to Greg out there in Florida. He got that brine and shine bundle. So this is perfect for Thanksgiving. That brine and that dirty bird rub all in one bundle, packaged up and ready for you. All you got to do is brine your turkey with this mixture right here. Get you a, like a gallon bucket, food safe bucket, of course. Dump this in there with a gallon of water. Not a, ga uh, a gallon of water. Get you like a 15 liter bucket, excuse me. Put a gallon of water in there, dump this brine in there, the top of the line brine, eight essential herbs and spices for your turkey. Let that sit overnight, like a, like a little spa day for the turkey in your fridge. Put some ice on top, put the lid on. The next day, which will be actually on Thanksgiving, take that turkey out, rinse it off in your sink, get all that brine solution off of the bird because all the good stuff is penetrated the bird. It's inside of the, those breasts and those legs and them thighs. Dry it off, rinse it off, dry it off, and then hit it with that dirty bird rub. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with that turkey prep. You can't go wrong. I want to do some Thanksgiving content. Not sure if I'm traveling or not. Hey, we got to hurry up with that content, man. Thanksgiving is almost here. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, make sure y'all follow Taste the Blessing and make sure you follow uh, the Great Area Podcast. I'm gonna check, what's your podcast about, brother? So, so... The people know we got about 185 people in here. Let it, let them know what your podcast is speaking on. 
Everybody double tapping that screen. Much love to y'all. I'll see y'all tapping in. Everybody hitting that follow button too. Make, it, make sure you hit that follow button before you leave. Because another thing too, I'm going to show you the finished product of this turkey on my story. I'm going to show, show you the finished product, the finished product of this turkey on my story. I'm going to bust a bag open on the turkey right there on my story. All right. And you'll be able to see exactly what a bag can do for your turkey. y'all. And a little bit of Mind you, we use two seasonings on this. We use Delta Dust and the Dirty Bird Rub to make something special, all right? A busting turkey. <sighs> Losing some pounds. Cornbread and collards. Okay, y'all just putting the menu out right now, all right? I see y'all. All right, y'all, so look. Let me see if anybody else put a little order in. I want to give a shout out to Sine out there. Man, West Coast is showing love this morning, y'all. Cali, Utah, Washington, they all showing love. Big shout out to the West Coast. Sine out there in Cali. She got that straight drop all-purpose rub. And she got that, named after my very own mother, that BB Salt Free. So BB Salt Free. It's just a straight drop rub without salt. So these are both all-purpose rubs. Both of these are all-purpose rubs. This one just doesn't have salt in it, all right? Named this after my mom because she wanted to support me, but she was having some heart issues. I said, you know what, mom? I'll make a seasoning just for you. So this is all flavor, no salt. It's not like that other stuff that is super bland and for them. Y'all know what I mean. This is for us, okay? This is for us. Flavors on point, no salt. And even if you just want to add a little pinch of salt after, that's totally fine. All right? It's totally fine. It's called BB Salt Free. You can get this from UncleDibs.com. Use that code, Big Bird, like Ronish is saying, for free shipping on your order. All right? Free shipping on your order. I'm going to let that, I'm going to let that uh, code ride until noontime here in Texas. So you got a little bit less than 30 minutes. How long did it take you to make your seasonings? So are you talking about the business or actually um, physically produce them? If you're talking about the business, this was an idea I had, I want to say, in 2019. And like I said, I was in the music industry. So I had just done a, done a, done a tour, got back to Miami. And uh, shortly thereafter, the pandemic started. So my life prior to just, you know, becoming in the seasoning game and cooking game it was all over the place. I was always on planes, going places, uh, doing shows, doing festivals, um, parties, events, whatever. So I always was on the go, always was on the go. Then the pandemic happened, everything shut down. I went from all over the place to being still. And so it gave me a time to kind of sit with some ideas that I had in my mind. And I was like, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity to execute, you know, some ideas that I had. And one of the main ones was the seasoning. And I want to say from March, conceptualized it in March, got the legal stuff done, lawyers, things like that, paperwork. And I launched in June of 2020. So a solid 90 days, like three months, solid 90 days. But mind you, not a, not a 2023, three months, a 2020, three months. So especially in Miami, we had very strict laws about you couldn't, you couldn't be out the house after like eight o'clock in my building. You couldn't even be a have guest over. So you're kind of like in solitary confinement almost not, a, you know, I'm not comparing it at all to like being in prison because that's not cool but you just had a lot of time to yourself. And you can do either two things. You can either be productive or not. I, just, I chose to be productive. And that's how everything started. Did I know it was gonna get like this? No, but I took it seriously. Once I had one video go viral for me on TikTok of me making some wings with this seasoning right here. My first seasoning, Atlanta lemon pepper hot. I made some wings, just put the video up there. Wasn't looking for nothing. And then next thing you know, I checked my TikTok the next day or later that day, that night, and it had like 100,000 views. And then the order started coming in. And then literally from that moment there, 
I have not stopped getting orders. You know what I mean? So it's just been a blessing. And honestly, I can't thank y'all enough. It's got me into Essence Magazine. It's got me on TV. It's got me on, you know, multiple things. And like I said, this cookbook is on the way. Somebody asked me if I was, hold on a second. Somebody asked me, am I interested in food tech? What exactly is food tech? Are you talking about like um, uh, production? What, what exactly do you mean by food tech? From Texas here, got to check you out. Shout out to you, Frank. Yes, I'm here in Houston, Texas. I moved to Houston because my uh, business started to kind of get very big. If, you, if, you, if you're in business, if you're in shipping and logistics, you already know it's very important where you're located in the country. So being down at the bottom of the map of Miami, it takes very long or at least an extra day or two to get stuff sent to you. This is why FedEx is based in Memphis. This is why a lot of your big companies are based in Dallas, because... They're right there in the center of the country. So they can two hours from LA, two hours from New York. They can get places way quicker. Being down in Miami, because I source my seasonings, my herbs, uh, all naturally. They're not going to be down in Miami. They're going to be coming from other places. So I needed to be somewhere in the center of the country. I've always loved coming to Texas. I used to come out to Austin and South by Southwest. I used to go up to do the Dallas to do shows. Uh, and I always come out to Houston too as well. Plus, I love Houston. So I came out here for a show. I did a show with Ro James and Seven Streeter at the beginning of 2021. I was like, you know what? Let me stay a couple extra days. Let me grab a realtor, look at some spots. And it's funny, you know, it literally was within two weeks. I was I was in Texas. It was just like that. When it's time, when it's time, you'll know. Don't. This is one of my favorite sayings. Um, um, when you overanalyze things you'll become your own worst enemy. You know what I mean? You know, uh, more is lost in indecision than in the wrong decision. That's the saying I was trying to look for. More is lost in indecision than the wrong decision. So just make a decision. Do not be a, a, a wall player or a fence dweller. Make a choice, all right? Do you know how to make good s'mores? I haven't made a s'more since I was a little kid, but maybe next time I do a campfire, I might try to do that. Yep, trying to break that habit, go ahead. What's going on, OU Cook Cook? What's up, Chef? Just got my variety bundle. Very excited. Thank you, Hungry Realtor. I appreciate that love. The variety bundle that she's talking about, you can get that too, is the lemon pepper hot that I just told you about, that story that got me viral, that dirty bird rub, which is what we use on that turkey, and that straight drop all-purpose rub, all right? So big shout out to you, Hungry Realtor. I hope you enjoy that cooking. And if you want this with free shipping, use that code BIGBIRD right now at UncleDibs.com. We have about, what time? We have about, what time is it? 20 more minutes left on that code, y'all. I want to give a shout out to Lindy up out in Georgia, my backyard, where I grew up, where I miss. She also got that variety bundle. Like I said, the variety bundle is for those that just want a little sampler of everything. They don't want to go, they don't want to commit to something, you know, certain season and a certain taste profile. But the variety bundle is a great starting point. Any cocktail recipes? I'm not a real cocktail kind of guy. Um, you know, I definitely enjoy a nice straight glass of whiskey during the winter. I like a nice mezcal or tequila during the summer. All right, I'm not really a big mixer, but I need to look into that. Actually, it's funny. Because even before I started DJing, I actually worked in food. So this is not just some random thing I fell off into. I worked in restaurants from the time I was probably about 11, 10 years old, up until maybe about 20, 21. I always worked in food. Not because of any type of reason. I just always worked in food. It could be fast food, fast casual to uh, fine dining. I've always worked in, in restaurants. And I actually was a bartender for a little bit too. So I, I've, I've made a lot of drinks. I just don't make a lot of drinks for myself. I'm starting to see my foodie journey path. I just got to keep figuring it out. Just keep moving, man. That's the best advice I give to anybody. I don't care if you're doing food, whatever you're doing in life, just keep moving, all right? I appreciate the positive energy here t tonight, too, today. Everybody double tapping that screen. Much love. Hit that follow button, too, while you're doing it, too, before you leave. And also, go to UncleDibs.com and put that code in. For free shipping, Big Bird is the code. I want to give a shout out to Vanessa out there in Pennsylvania. 
Got that top of the line brine to make that juicy turkey. All you gotta do is add water. One gallon of water in this, add your turkey to a bucket, ice on top, put it in the fridge, let it brine for about 12 to 24 hours, and I guarantee a juicy, juicy, juicy turkey. West Coast showing love still. Big shout out to Linda out there in California. Got two bags of the top of the line brine, so she's doing a lot of cooking. Linda got, Linda got two ovens. This is two oven energy right here. Top of the line, Brian, two of those. They on the way, Linda. She used that code Big Bird for free shipping too as well. Thanks, always love to support, brother. You always inspire me of the possibilities. Thank you, man. I'm excited to try this, Brian. When will it arrive? It arrives soon, all right? I'm about to go back in the back right now and start packing orders, all right, in the office. So trust me, you'll get a direct email with a time and date that this brine will arrive at your doorstep. So trust me, it'll get there. Plus you don't have to even pay for shipping. So that's great service right there. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? So I'm gonna be here in Houston for Thanksgiving. I'm actually gonna go down to Miami for a little bit before Thanksgiving to hang out with some family, but I'm gonna be in Houston for Thanksgiving and uh, gonna be visiting couple houses not gonna be doing a lot of cooking but I'm gonna be doing a lot of eating all right so and also I'm gonna be a lot of these turkeys that I make for the demos and videos I make them but then I end up freezing them and then on Thanksgiving Day or the day before Thanksgiving what I'll do is I'll cut up cut them up grab some soup some uh, to-go plates and then go around and feed the homeless uh, for Thanksgiving and just pass out plates for free I don't I don't really promote this I don't you know Get my camera like, hey, look at me giving some, you know, feeding. I, I'm not really into all that. I just kind of just do that just because I know it's tough during the holidays. A lot of times people like to do turkey give, giveaways. They give you these big 20 pound turkey, frozen turkey to the homeless. Like he doesn't, you, did it, you have no oven. What are you going to do with a frozen turkey? You know what I mean? It's hard enough to cook a turkey for somebody that has a house. Somebody that doesn't have a house. What are you going to do with a frozen turkey? You know what I mean? So... I cook the turkeys, I prepare them, everything. So all you gotta do is stick that fork in that plate and they're good to go, all right? Yeah, exactly. I don't, you know, listen, I'm not here to tell anybody how they should, you know, run their life or anything like that. But for me, I just, I'm not a big believer in like validation through giving, you know what I mean? The only eyes that matter that watch what you do as far as the nice things you do, giving or whatever are God's eyes, in my opinion. All right, as long as he sees it, I'm fine with that. I don't need followers to see it. I might show the food, like I might have all the food prepped up in my kitchen and I might be like, hey, I'm about to give this to the homeless because I know sometimes I can inspire somebody to want to do that too. They might be like, damn, he's doing it. I can do it too. You know, I don't have this huge setup where I got 50,000 turkeys that I'm giving away. I give away what I can. And sometimes that little bit makes a big difference. So that's just what matters. That's how God wants it. Amen. That's what I believe. I have a big heart for the homeless too. Exactly. Because, you know, it, a, lot, a lot of people are one paycheck, two paychecks away from being homeless. Okay? That's the real honest truth. All right? Everybody ain't balling. Everybody ain't got it like that. There's a lot of people that if one, like, what was it, last week, uh, bank deposits got messed up on Bank of America or something like that. People did not get their paychecks on time. A lot of people were in a bind. It's the first of the month, too. A lot of people were kind of scared. So with that being said, just because you pass somebody and think like, oh, they messed their life up, you could be one or two paychecks away from you being in that exact same situation. So don't judge. Don't judge at all, all right? Who else here? I want to give a shout out to Donna up, up there in Maryland. This is your neighbor, uh, Grownish. She got that Delta, no, that's a BB's. Excuse me. She got that Delta Dust. Big shout out to Donna. She used that code Big Bird for free shipping. Just go to UncleDibs.com, y'all, and use that code free shipping. There's about 15 more minutes left on that code if you want to use it. Go ahead and use it now, all right? Go ahead and use it now for that free shipping. I'll take care of that shipping. And that's probably going to be the last discount I do before Black Friday, all right? So with that being said, I got some football to watch, y'all, and some orders to pack, so... Does anybody have any more questions for Unc before I get up out of here and finish my coffee? If you tuned in late, <clears throat> we did my oven in the bag, turkey hack, 
All right, it's in the oven right now cooking. I'm gonna show you guys the final result. <clears throat> this full recipe is available on my site, UncleDibs.com. Start to finish, all the instructions, all the amounts with a video. So go to UncleDibs.com to get that full recipe, okay? It's a great live. Thank you. Seasonings are so fresh. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Aaliyah. Good morning. Good afternoon, wherever you're at. If you're international, good evening, okay? So listen, we, we almost hit 40,000 likes. I'll take 37,000 likes. Thank you so much for everybody that double tapped the screen. Before you leave, make sure you hit that follow button too as well. I'm going to be posting my Thanksgiving, I call it a fix tape, not a mixtape, my Thanksgiving fix tape with all my favorite holiday recipes, mac and cheese, collard greens, turkey legs, I mean, uh, turkey wings, whole turkeys, chickens. What's that song? I got greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, lambs, rams, hogs, turkeys. I'm going to do my holiday Thanksgiving fix tape. One long video that's going to have everything all in one video so you can pick and choose what you want, all right? So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. You got about a little over 10 minutes on that code. Go grab some seasonings, y'all. All natural. All natural. No chemicals, no metals, no nothing. I know you're thinking like, well, seasonings don't have chemicals. Yes, they do. The ones in them stores, do, they got them. That's why they cost a dollar. Okay, think about that. That's why they're so cheap. Because they're made of cheap ingredients. Trust me. All right, that's why fast food's so cheap. It's made with cheap ingredients, all right? So use that code BIGBIRD for free shipping at UncleDibs.com. Y'all be safe. Y'all be good. I do have a lamb chops recipe on my site. Just go to UncleDibs.com, all right? All right, y'all. Y'all be safe. Uncle's out.